Welcome to Safetica 101. In this episode, we will install the Safetica management components manually. The first thing to do is install the Safetica management service. The Safetica management service is installed on one device within the network and must be running at all times to collect data from the Safetica endpoints and to relay settings to the devices with Safetica installed on them. Installing the Safetica management service requires a couple steps. Selecting the language, and determining which SQL database to connect to. Let's start by running the installer and selecting the language. After selecting the language, click on Manual Installation and then Installation. The Safetica setup contains multiple Safetica components that can be installed or extracted. Let's start with the SMS. Now click Run Installer. Once you agree to the EULA, select where you wish to save the Satica management service. Now you can select which SQL server you wish Satica to communicate with. For this training, we will connect to an existing SQL server. Put in the device name or IP address of your SQL server and the username and password. You can use an existing account with the ability to create databases or create a Safetica account. This is covered in another training. After filling out this information, hit Next. In the next step, you can determine if you wish to receive automatic updates from Safetica or if you wish to send statistics back to Safetica. All statistics sent to Safetica are kept anonymous. Now the installer will run and the Safetica management service will be installed. Now that the Safetica management service is installed, we need to install the Safetica management console. The console provides a dashboard view into Safetica where you can manage your settings. You can install the management console on multiple devices. To install the console, we have to choose our settings and input the device name or IP where the Safetica management service lives that we will be connecting into. From the Safetica installer, click on SMC. Now run installer and select your language. Agree to the EULA and click Next. You can select where the console will be installed and customize your settings. The Safetica Management Console installer will run. Once the console is installed, you can put in your Safetica username and temporary password, and then put in the device name or IP you wish to connect to that has the Safetica Management Service installed on it. Congratulations, you have successfully installed the Satica management components. Thanks for watching this episode of Satica 101. This training introduced you to some of the many features and capabilities of Satica. For more information, please visit our website at corporatearmor.com or call us at 1-877-449-0458.